Uh, recently, the U.S. Surgeon General released a report that described this really alarming epidemic of loneliness that we're experiencing. This is especially acute for young people. More and more young people are experiencing chronic depression, anxiety in their lives, and as a result, they're disconnecting from the familiar things in our communities like school that have historically given them a sense of identity. And so at Uplift Education, we've been really trying to figure out ways to get young people exposed to different teachers and one that we think is the most underutilized is nature. I think we're moving into a world in which we need to think differently about education and one in which I think the future of education lives in experiences where students have more hands-on opportunities and we're not, they're not learning from a book. We've partnered with Rome Wild to create youth adventure trips into nature where young people not only get to build peer-to-peer -peer relationships to help them tell their own stories, but cultivate different qualities in their life that sometimes we just can't do in our classrooms. Qualities like being provoked by beauty, being provoked by awe, being provoked by the sublime. And so we don't have curriculum for that. And you know, the good news is we don't need one because nature herself affords a perfect kind of curriculum to bring young people together, to get them outside, to get them moving, to get them breathing fresh air, to get them away from technology and go deeper on their journey. Having that independence, having those opportunities to be independent in the woods, in the wilderness, right, to take on these challenges, provides them these opportunities that they can then bring back to the classroom and say, oh, I know what to do, right? I feel self-worth and I know how to carry myself forward.